The Earth holds many mysteries yet to be unraveled. As we explore its origins and makeup, we find ourselves amazed and astonished. One such remarkable event is the Carnian Pluvial Episode or CP, during which scientists believe Earth experienced non-stop rain for two million years. This period played a crucial role in paving the way for the rise of dinosaurs, marking a significant turning point in our planet's history. Are you new to this channel? I really appreciate you subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Pangaea the Supercontinent This is the Earth as we recognize it today, but around 200 to 300 million years ago, our planet looked vastly different. It was a colossal supercontinent known as Pangaea, meaning all lands in ancient Greek, which accurately described its composition. Unlike the dispersed continents we see today, Pangaea had a distinctive sea shape, with most of its landmass concentrated in the southern hemisphere. Back then, Earth was a dramatically transformed place. It resembled a vast, barren desert extending from pole to pole. Vegetation was sparse, consisting mainly of diminutive desert plants scattered across the sandy terrain. Rainfall was scant and irregular, hindered by mountain ranges that blocked its penetration into the interior regions. Coastal areas were the primary beneficiaries of moisture. Temperatures were significantly higher than they are today, with the planet being around 10 degrees Celsius warmer and seas reaching a sweltering 47 degrees Celsius, much warmer than your average bathwater. The ecosystem was inhabited by ancient species of insects, reptiles, mammals, and the earliest dinosaurs. Reptiles held dominion, while the emergence of small dinosaurs marked a new evolutionary phase, albeit under less than ideal conditions. The Earth boasted a single vast ocean known as Panthalassa, meaning all sea, inhabited by various marine life such as ammonoids, gastropods, sponges, and corals. Additionally, smaller oceans like the Paleotethus Ocean bordered its periphery, adding to the planet's diverse aquatic ecosystems. Early Dinosaurs In the arid world following the Permian period, dinosaurs did indeed roam but they were just beginning to find their footing amidst early reptiles and mammal-like ancestors. The primary carnivores of that era were the Kuratarsans, a diverse group resembling crocodiles, encompassing reptiles like Pseudosuchians and Phytosaurs. Take Ornithosuchus, for instance, with its elongated hind legs allowing it to stand upright when sprinting, a sight both awe-inspiring and terrifying to behold. Even more intriguing were the Rhynchosaurs, herbivores sporting parrot-like beaks and sometimes striking cheekbones, all atop a stout lizard-like body. While true mammals hadn't yet emerged, dicynodonts filled a similar ecological niche. Despite their scaly, tusked appearance, they are actually more closely related to us than the likes of Dimetrodon. Among them, Lystrosaurus stood out as a globally widespread species, so abundant that its fossils contributed to the development of the theory of plate tectonics. However, these remarkable creatures, well suited to life in a dry climate, were about to face a significant upheaval. Carnian Pluvial Episode In the early 1990s, British geologists Schlager and Skalmberger stumbled upon rocks that defied expectations for the dry Triassic period they were familiar with. Instead of the typical red sands deposited over time, they uncovered layers of river rocks, sediments from expansive lakes, and signs of lush coal swamps. These findings hinted at a period of immense rainfall spanning approximately 2 million years. What made this discovery even more perplexing was its global reach. Similar traces of this sudden shift to a wetter climate were found in locations as far apart as England, the the Americas, and Israel, indicating a worldwide phenomenon. Initially met with skepticism from their peers, who suggested these rocks could be the result of localized floods, subsequent decades brought forth a steady stream of similar discoveries. Coal deposits in Austria, ancient lakes in Italy, wet soils in Utah, and massive rivers in China all dated back to the same narrow time frame between 232 and 234 million years ago. Geologists eventually pieced together the puzzle, concluding that this era marked the onset of the age of dinosaurs, characterized by an unusually wet climate known as the Carnian Pluvial Episode or CPE. The prevailing theory attributes this extended period of rainfall to a series of potent volcanic eruptions within the Rangelia Large Igneous Province, stretching from south-central Alaska through the coast of British Columbia, which released vast amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. This triggered global warming and ocean acidification, leading to heightened humidity and subsequent heavy rainfall. The impact of these volcanic events reverberated through the Earth's water and carbon cycles, permanently altering the climate. The resulting shock warming had devastating consequences, including vegetation and soil depletion, oceanic anoxia, and acidification, leading to mass extinctions and a profound reshaping of ecosystems. However, amidst these harsh conditions, new forms of life emerged and flourished. The dramatic climate changes of the Carnian Pluvial episode set the stage for the ascendancy of dinosaurs and the diversification of modern terrestrial fauna. The Rise of the Dinosaurs As the Rangelian eruptions gradually 
subsided, the carbon cycle began to stabilize. Excess carbon dioxide was absorbed back into the atmosphere, bringing the Carnian pluvial episode to a gradual close. By the time the eruption ceased entirely around 230 million years ago, the Earth had reverted to its familiar hot and arid Triassic climate albeit with notable changes to the landscape. With more stable weather conditions, dinosaurs flourished. As towering conifers and other large plants replaced ground vegetation, the population of reptiles dwindled while dinosaurs found ample sustenance among the abundant foliage. Alongside the rise of dinosaurs, the ancestors of modern animals such as turtles and crocodiles emerged. The increased acidity of the ocean spurred the growth of plankton and coral reefs. Researchers noted that following widespread extinctions of plants and key herbivores on land, dinosaurs dinosaurs emerged as the primary beneficiaries during the recovery period. They described this era as one of the most significant events in the history of life, as it not only ushered in the age of dinosaurs but also paved the way for the emergence of key modern animal groups, including turtles, crocodiles, lizards, and mammals. Do you believe that it rained non-stop for two million years on Earth? Or does the Carnian pluvial episode really pave the way to the age of dinosaurs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Wait, I noticed that a whopping 90% of viewers watching my videos haven't hit the subscribe button yet. If you're enjoying content like this, why not join the community by subscribing? You'll never miss out on the latest updates and exciting content. Also, please consider subscribing to these two awesome people who joined my community. Kindly check out their channel for their live stream schedule. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.